Corpus Christi leaders spent most of Tuesday prepping for the weather headed our way. Your neighborhood news reporter Alexis Scott kicks off our team coverage downtown. Alexis, good morning. What are some of the steps that the city took to make sure we are ready for this severe weather? Good morning, Taylor. I'm over here near the Bayfront, right outside the American Bank Center near the seawall. And as you can see, the rain is not coming down right now, but just a few moments ago, it was pretty heavy and we know it's going to pick back up in the next couple of hours. But the city of Corpus Christi has been preparing the community for the last several days and they've closed some uh, roads along North Shoreline as well because of the potential for flooding in this area. And yesterday I was able to speak with some city public works officials as they began preparing Tuesday afternoon in several areas along the city. Crews were out clearing storm water drains, especially in those flooded prone neighborhoods. In addition to the city of Corpus Christi, the Nueces County Emergency Management began preparing the community as well on Tuesday. Now they offered several safety tips for the upcoming hazardous conditions. Don't drive around any barricades. Use headlights so you are visible to other drivers and pedestrians and always follow the rule. Turn around, don't drown. So that means do not drive through any flooded areas. And if you don't have to be outside today, please stay home. If you or anyone you know is in a flood zone and in need of assistance, the city of Corpus Christi asks you to call 311, their non-emergency line. In Corpus Christi, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Alexis Scott, Chris 6 News.